Welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this video I'm going to talk about animation with Jetpack Compose. Well, Jetpack Compose is now available in the beta version, which means that if you are creating any prototypes or the demo application, then Jetpack Compose is really a good candidate for that. In this video, we'll see how easy it is to add animation to the apps built with Jetpack Compose. So let's get started with it. Let me create a composable greeting card. What I need is that I need image on the top and right below the image will have text. And then we'll add animation to the text and to the image. So for text, we'll add the animation for the visibility and for the image, we are going to add animation to change the shape and the size of it. So let's have a column composable inside this will have image which requires two mandatory parameter painter and content description because i already have the image in the tribal so i can call painter resource method and specify the tribal let's also write something for the content description because it's an image of mountain so i'm saying content description as mountain then content scale as content scale dot crop so that it will occupy the entire width and height will not leave any space towards left right top or bottom now it's one of the important thing to specify the width and height also if you want based on your desired width and height so for that i'm going to call modifier dot fill max width which means match parent that's going to occupy the entire width and also have a height of 240 dp. So later on, we are going to animate this. But for now, let's leave this as 240 dp. Then right below this image, we'll need text. And let's say this, this is the demo application, which is showing some cool animations apart from this let's also have a proper spacing for this image and the text from all the four sides so for that let's specify the modifier for the column also so we'll say modifier dot fill max width which means that occupy the entire width and have a spacing for 12 dp which means padding towards left right top and bottom as 12 dp now let's run this what it will draw on the screen is image on the top and right below the image will have text then we'll add animation to toggle the visibility of this text composable so here it is we have image and right below the image we have text now when i tab on this image i want to toggle the visibility of this text so how could i make this image as clickable so for that on the modifier i can call clickable and by this way i can make this image as clickable so let's have an object first show description by remember mutable state of false well the reason why do i'm calling remember here is because the moment this composable get recomposed we do not want this object to again have the default value as false so when we use remember it remember the previous value at the time of recomposition and what we are going to do here is that we are going to call animated visibility and to the visible just to specify show description and then we'll have this text inside this because this api is still experimental so add the experimental annotation api and that's it but one important thing here is we need to change the value of this so on a click of this image 
we'll say show disk is equals to show disk dot not and that's it now when we tap on the image it will toggle the visibility along with the animation now after this we'll also see about how we can add animation to change the height and the shape of this image but before that let's see about this text now when i tap on this image you'll see along with the animation this text is visible here okay now let's add animation for the size and shape of this image for that let's have one more object say well image size and we'll say animate dp as state here for the target value we'll say if show description then have the size as 240 dp else the half of it along with this let's also change the shape and so i'll say rounded percentage by animate float as state again for the target value we'll say the same thing if show disk so when description is shown then i do not want this to change the shape else have a rounded shape of 50 percent okay now let's put this at the appropriate places so image size will replace this 240.dp and for the shape what we could do is to add we could add clip round corner shape and because i don't want this to be rounded at all the sides i just want it to be on the top side so i could say top start rounded percentage then top end rounded percentage and that's it now when we run this we'll see that along with the visibility animation we have animation for changing the shape and the size of image and here it is the default one is show description is false when it is false then have a size as 120 dp and the around percentage is 50. Now when I tab on this, you'll see along with the animation, it is changing the shape and the size of image. Also, the visibility of this text is changing along with the animation. One thing here is that based on this kind of functionality, where as the value of one changes, we need to animate various properties like the width, height, size, or other things then we can also take advantage of update transition so we can create transition we'll call update transition method and here we can specify the target state now we could say well image size by transition dot animate dp And here let's say show DESC and let's remove this in the same way we'll have well rounded percentage by transition dot animate float so that's it now when we run once again you'll see the same set of animation once again but one advantage here is that you are not specifying this over and over 
you have already specified it once with update transition and now based on this object as the value of this changes you are automatically changing the state for the image size and the percentage and here you could see this so that's it in this video if you have liked this video then do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel so as to get the latest videos on android kotlin and firebase thank you and stay tuned